<laughs> Park like a professional. <laughs> yeah, Chris, what, <laughs> what do you have to say? <laughs> there he is. Na, alles gut? Ja. Wie geht's? Super. Top? Na, ja, schick nur an, das dreht doch. Ja. <lacht> okay. So, we're at the parking. I've been here already a, a few times. Well, not super many times, but 10 or 15 times or something. We'll go up now. It's maybe a 8 minute hike. And then you'll see the proj. 8 minutes? <laughs> this uh, project in there, we have to go in there. Frank it's a bit, I mean, I know, it's Franconia, it's dark, it's a bit of a sit start. But it's a good landing. But it's a good landing. Really good landing there. <laughs> One of the worst approaches in the Frank Nura. Probably the last hard project in the Frank Nura. What means hard? Hard means for sure 9B plus in my eyes, maybe Maybe harder. question mark harder. Question mark harder. Yeah. Hopefully Yannick will tell us today. Yes, so because of this we have Yannick with us today. So, I've heard about a dino. I'm really <laughs> good in dinos. So, but it's... You, you know the Frank and Jura dinos? Yeah, I just two monos and then you jump to a two thing <laughs> up it. It doesn't really count as a dino. But if we don't send it today, we'll just glue this nice hold in between the two crux holes and then it will be a nice 8B, I guess. Yeah, that's a plan. So, what do you think about this uh, plan? <laughs> well, let's say um, some other people already had a similar idea and did that as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just joking. Guys, you're just joking, yeah, right? Just joking. Right, you're joking, right? Yes, yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Product placement. <laughs> no, the professional athletes, huh? Yeah, but I use this. Uh, I use harness. a new one every day because I get dirty when I climb outside. And it's better for the environment, oh, right? Fuck no, it's, it's chalk. Hmm. Just throw it in the in the forest. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we climb like this. Is this on speed gold or what? Yeah, it's a uh, it's this new speed harness. Speed climbing. And maybe you replace, you replace the label. I think you should open the harness before you put it on. Oh, oh maybe that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever climb before, Yannick? <laughs> <laughs> can I see your top rope certification? Ah, can, I, can I see your top rope certification? <laughs> 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 really? <laughs> yeah. Well, if I'm this top rope is certified. If this is the last video we do together, because you'll <laughs> drop me to the ground. <laughs> Signing out. Peace. <laughs> yeah, just leave it on. I check shot partner back. Ah, I think we are cool. Check it once again. <laughs> <laughs> The first two quick draws, <laughs> and then we do pick quick draw pulling. And still, so there is already the first sort of crux. Gerade hoch. Das halt hier ist Mono und danach kommt wieder so ein geiler Briefkastenschlitz. Ja. Dann ist vorbei, aber. Aber bis ins Mono kann man nicht blocken, oder? Wenn die auf Englisch reden, ihr Hampelmänner. Aber es.
so cool if it would go straight up here, but I don't think it goes. Guilty. What do you think? Ja, ich glaube, das ist einfach total schwer, wenn man da unten mit der Unterkopfkelle da irgendwie nach hoch blockt, weil das ist halt übel weit und meine Spanne ist halt nur 1,78 und dann muss man ja noch den Fuß irgendwie hoch und dann von dem Mond in den Schlitz und dann, ja, machst du Untertitel, ne? Ah, ja. <lacht> ja. Verstehst du, was ich meine? Ja. Ist halt so richtig weit. Ja. Where do you have to go? From this one is really good. And the mono all the way to the slot. All the way There is also other options. If you yeah, pull up to the straight up, but it looks pull up to the orange quick draw and have a look at the holes. Okay. Yeah. Also von der Länge geht's auf jeden Fall. Von der Länge geht's. I think it's possible, but I don't know if you can. But it's hard to hit, right? It's yeah. just a really small moment. Super far, and then I think you have to jump to a, to the slot. To this one here, maybe. Yeah. I mean, if you get the mono, it's over. Then yeah, it's, yeah. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's an eight B plus it's like bowler. A right? Yes. Yeah. No, no. If you get the mono, then. Then really it's over. Uh, you can also grab to the left. There's this. Um, yes, you know what I mean. Uh, I know what's a problem for you. It's one of those hold. You can't hold with five tapes on one finger. <laughs> <laughs> Aber vielleicht als Zwischengriff, oder? Okay. Hier rein oder wie? Ja. <lacht> mono, mono. Ja, und dann aber da oben der Briefkastenschlitz. Der ist gut? Der ist richtig gut, ja. Okay. Ui! Das geht auch. <lacht> Man muss halt treffen, glaube ich. <lacht> ja, genau. Okay. Ja, ich komme schon rein, aber ich weiß nicht, ob ich es festhalten kann. Ja, genau so geht es mir auch. Ja, lass mal ab. Mal ja, Pause. Ich trägt alles viel besser an. Okay. 
tut dir das nicht weh? Ja doch, natürlich tut mir das weh. Okay, mal locker. Okay. There we go again. <laughs> Been sitting on these three bolts already a few times, and every time I feel like, should I do go this way? Should I try this way? But it was quite interesting to see Yannick trying yeah. the move here. I think it's really, really strong in underclings because I also tried to get into this position quite a few times and I always felt like it might be possible, but yeah, I can tell you it's quite hard. <laughs> Ach, das habe ich ich gesehen. Ja, also es ist jetzt auch, also es ist, äh, <laughs> es ist nicht gut. Aber du hast halt keinen Daumen dann beim Untergang. Ja. There's also, I thought at some point to like take the undercling with the other hand and take this crimp as intermediate, but this one. This one. Yeah, it's really bad. Yeah, it's quite bad. Okay, I'll try the undercling one more time. Okay, maybe we found a new beta that could work. Because we have to come back. What is it about this line here? It is probably the last really hard outstanding line. I think it might be one of the. I mean, it's definitely one of the best lines in the Frank Nura, anyways. And it's also still a project for the past 20 years and really hard. I think so. Yeah. So uh, I mean, it all comes down to this, to this one move. I feel like because, ja, ja, ja. Team ein Stück. I feel like if you somehow get into the mono, which is like also really far, that's the problem. That really is the problem. This finish too good. Mm. It's super far, but the mono is like you can do something with the mono, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not impossible to hold it. And then you have another mono on the right and then the the jug up there. Hmm. So, but in the end it is a great thing to have a project like this and the, like in your habit, you know? In my home area, yeah. yeah. I mean, the front gear was always... Back in the past, the places where, you know, all the hard routes were, and then people forgot about it because there was nothing really in the 9B and 9B plus range. Now there is with Supernova, that I made the first send a few years ago, and this might be the next level project now. Willst du auch nochmal probieren? Ja. Gut. Gut. You can bring me to the ground. I'll take this shit with me too.
I was surprised. It's a really nice line. <laughs> Maybe one of the best lines I've seen in the Frank Mura. Yeah. And it's definitely worth to come back, even if we haven't figured out all the moves. So it could be really, really hard. But the wall is just amazing. Do we still do the dinosaur ride? No, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> we haven't really tried. But we figured out the big underclink move to the mono. We both did it with a quick draw, which is maybe a little easier. But I figured out at the beginning it's maybe also not super hard when you come from the original hold. So, and then we figured out it's still super hard to get <laughs> from the mono to the next mono. But I don't know, maybe 8B plus boulder. Starting on the underclings, just doing this move and to the next mono. Hmm. And there are a couple of hard moves before, and then you still have to climb maybe 8C plus to get there. <laughs> so, Alex, when do you think we come back here to give it another try? That'll be a more tricky question. <laughs> 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 I've got some uh, things with Petzl I'll do soon, and you're doing like Laval and some team training. And then I'll be in the Red River Gorge in November. <laughs> you will be in probably in Finland at Burden of Dreams also in November. And then Frank Mura is a bit shit in winter, so probably next season. Now what's the best time to try this one? I mean, now would be very good, October. Apart from that, I think September is also good because there'll still be shade from the leaves. And beginning of the year, I don't think it will be super wet. So March, April should be good. So we have five more months to <laughs> train these bad boys for the mono move. <laughs> yes, uh, I have to train underclings, you have to train monos, and then we come back. Good plan. So Patrick, who are we? Yeah, we are here at uh, Wiesenthal in the Fränkische Schweiz. And this is a yeah, um, very popular climbing area. And high up at the uh, one of the slopes here in the valley, there is a, yeah, um, an old crag called Magdalenenwand. And I discovered this crag here a long time ago, um, more than 20 years ago, when some climbers from my local um, Alpine club told me that there is a... Um, yeah, a um, piece of rock called dome. That we only uh, knew it um, um, as the dome. Um, we should just take a look there um, and maybe there are some projects. And then? Yeah, and then I uh, um, uh, just, uh, just got in the car and with my um, uh, former climbing partner, Philip, Philip Wada, who is uh, um, uh, one of the... The, um, uh, one of the guys who set a lot of routes here in the Frankenura. We drove to this rock here, just um, scrambled up the hill. And at the first time we just uh, arrived here through a cave because um, you, of course you can just scramble up the hill and then arrive here. But if you don't know the path, you just, just um, arrive at a cave and you climb through this cave and then you just, yeah, come come out of the cave, of the ceiling of the cave, and then you can notice this kind of piece of rock. It's really great. And then you know why we call it the dome. Um, yeah, and then we thought, okay, this is like amazing. And yeah, then um, Philip um, decided to bold the, the right line, the line of the right, right side of the dome, and I thought about bolding the central line. And um, Philip finished finally his route called Trinity, which is an 8B plus. And then I bolted um, the, the direct line, not to the end, because I didn't know exactly where uh, the line could go through. And then we thought about an exit and um, set, set the bolts. And then it remained a project for a long, long time, nearly more than two decades. And did you have uh, an idea how the crux could look like? <coughs> yeah, um, surprisingly, the first idea we have, the direct exit, is exactly the idea you and Yannick now um, are going to try. Um, but for me, it was like, okay, this is kind of an impossible move. And then um, 
we thought about combining the start with a kind of a really hard traverse into the 8B plus from Philip, which is called Trinity. And yeah, which um, uh, uh, line you also tried. But yeah, and in the end, uh, it comes out that uh, this, this move is even harder and yeah, very uncomf uncomfortable. Uh, with the original line, the direct exit, and I think it's one of the best lines, uh, not only in the Franken Jura, it's, it's, it's a king line. Yeah, it really is. And did you try it at all yourself? I tried, of course, uh, uh, the, 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 some of the moves, but I mean, I'm, my maximum is 8C climbing, so it was far away from my abilities and even and also from Philip's. But Philip is like really special. He's, um, he has this kind of vision uh, where my vision uh, um, stops um, already. And so Philip thought, hey, this move is possible. And I said, Philip, never. It's, it's, it's so far from this underclings and, and hitting that uh, finger pocket, sticking the finger pocket and then going on in this other finger pocket. And yeah, in the end, um, yeah, uh, it came out that it's, yeah, could be possible. 